people, welcome back to my channel, Paolo here again and today we're going to talk about Trampa. Trampa in general, my experience with Trampa and also we're going to review the VESC 6 Mark III. It's nothing new and this VESC was around uh, for a while now, uh, this is the generation 3 of VESC 6. Uh, there are plans of uh, probably some new stuff coming out. So this is not new, this is just me getting to the stage where I decided to buy quite a few of them for my uh, fresh builds that I'm working on right now. So with me today, just one, brought it in for uh, the review into my office. And uh, interesting part, we're going to take it apart and look what's inside, so stick around. If you're familiar with my channel, I do always review all the parts that I use for my electrical DIY boards. Uh, so you can learn uh, from my experience if they're any good or how to install. Uh, so yeah, take a look. I've got the uh, uh, Super Fox 6.8 review. I'm using it in one of my boards. Uh, Flixsky 6.6 .6 Plus, Flixsky 412, 420. So there's quite a few already tried. But I'm gradually moving up the ladder, uh, getting better and better. And now I reach the top. So. I am the proud owner of original Trampa VESC uh, units. Absolutely gorgeous. So very quickly about uh, the VESC 6 itself. For starters, it's now uh, 80 amp continuous, 50 amp uh, maximum. I'm not sure about duration. Uh, normally it's like two, three seconds of 150 amp. That's a lot. You know, I think 80 amp continuous is like perfect. You know, I normally run uh, uh, my motors at about 55, 60, uh, and that's enough for me. Uh, having that little bit of play and go all, all the way up to 80, that's beautiful. You know, that's good. Uh, also, really big difference uh, between this particular uh, VESC and any others, that this is the first VESC that actually does uh, have uh, option to hibernate so if you don't use your board the board will go to sleep that is absolutely brilliant so if you uh, are on the run somewhere and you stop for a little bit you don't have to reach out and turn your board off she will go to sleep um, and when she's sleeping it actually uses less electricity than your normal discharge rate of the battery so that's brilliant another awesome thing about these uh, units is they are now uh, available to take on a switch so no more loop uh, keys uh, which is actually not too bad but it was a little bit outdated and uh, now it's just an awesome little switch click click and you're done brilliant i love that there's a lot of different innovations um, on the internal guts of it as well but i'm not going to bore you to death you can always go on trampa website and read up on all the differences uh, to the motherboard, to the electronics that they have implemented. But yes, at the moment, this is the top of them top available from Trampa. Brilliant. Uh, price wise, I'm sure you're probably thinking about that right now. These are not that cheap, but you pay what you sorry, you get what you pay for. Okay, so at the moment, just looking at the website you can get one of these for 225 pounds if you buy one but this is where a beauty comes in if you would go for a larger amount of them for instance if you go for two you get them at 183 pounds if you go for four you get them at 175 quid and if you go for, let's say 10, it's 166. So you can always get together with your mates or something, and let's say place an order for four, and then you get them 175 pounds. Obviously plus uh, the delivery, but for that kind of money, why would you wanna go for, let's say, uh, Flip Skype, which is $211? I don't know, it's up to you. But anyway, so uh, quality-wise, Let's bring the camera a bit closer and we'll look at the VESC a bit closer and uh, actually open up. Before we do that though, I would like to say something uh, about uh, Trampa. 
uh, and it's not brown nosing. I don't have any business relationship with Shrampa. I buy my stuff and I review it. I only done like a couple of wheels and nothing major. Uh, Shrampa are absolutely awesome company when it comes to customer service. I'll tell you from my own experience. So I've purchased some bits from them, uh, the bindings, uh, four of the desks, uh, was other couple of bits, I already forgot what it was, but placed an order, straight away get an email notification that your order was received and they're working on it. Next day I got a phone call uh, from Trampa headquarters explaining to me that one of the parts wasn't available in my color, uh, very apologetic, they did send me different color because I wanted it straight away and they will send me the color I wanted later on when it's in stock. Brilliant. It's like, you know, person to person relationship, which is absolutely spot on. Then I've got an email saying that my order now uh, fulfilled and I got a tracking number for my package and package arrived within three days. Cannot complain. Absolutely awesome. Another lovely touch is when I was buying these um, desks, I really, really wanted the switch, but at the time, guys did not have them in stock. So, I just mentioned, guys, if possible, can you maybe send me like a schematic so I can get a switch and wire it myself? I was told by Dave, Dave, thank you very much, Beth, when we get parts, we'll sort you out. And I forgot all about it. Three days ago, I get an envelope, and guess what's in it? There is an absolutely awesome little switch fully wired up for me already to take on dual VESC done absolutely brilliant and a little note just in case if you got any questions or need help to fit in the switch contact Dave at Trampa perfect as human as it can be as close relationship between a retailer businessman and a customer I know it's just a silly piece of paper, but things like that matter to me. You know, I didn't have to chase them for the parts they promised. And yeah, brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You can talk to Ted. Uh, I mean, if you email them with any questions, response straight away. Awesome. So that's it, guys. No more uh, brown nosing. But it's true. You know, if they would have been shared, I would have said they shared. I don't care. But here we go. So let's take a look closer at actual... Uh, uh, unit itself and the quality of it. So the quality of the build is absolutely gorgeous. It's got really nice and solid, quite heavy aluminium heat sink. It does now have a nice custom-made silicone gasket that goes in between the cover and actual heat sink to keep it nice and dust free. Beautiful, gorgeous, golden uh, branding on it. Everything is tagged up and you can see exactly what the switches are, what the pins are. Everything is as straightforward as possible. Uh, these guys are using a really good quality, German made uh, silicon cables with original Amas XT90 connector. Uh, for your power and on a face cable same thing high quality silicone uh, cables and gold plated four millimeter straight connectors gorgeous so guys as promised we're going to take uh, this vesk apart well hopefully this is not going to avoid the warranty but you know what if I need to sacrifice the warranty just to bring you this beauty up close, I'm willing to do so for you. So let's remove the screws. So cover is coming off. Guys, remember not to touch any electronics unless you are have grounded yourself because you can potentially damage your electronics so i'm not even going to touch the guts which is going to have a sneaky peek 
that's what's inside okay so the whole lot is protected with a silicone gasket it's very nice it sits really really nicely all the way around so now we're gently going to remove the electronics okay another gasket and this is your uh, heat transfer gel well hopefully it's gonna go back in as it was without ruining anything I did replace the uh, damaged uh, thermal pad with the new one uh, but guys would like to mention I only opened the vesk so I can uh, show you what's inside so you don't have to do it yourself uh, open up the vesk will void your warranty so don't do it and this is how we are looking inside nice and clean good soldering joints I'm not gonna take it apart too much and I'm not gonna touch it too much inside as well oh here we go that's how the vesk looks inside so guys I did put everything back together exactly how she was got to say it's really nice and tight fit so yeah and as much as possible is protected with this silicone uh, gasket while i'm putting this uh, cover back on uh, together i would like to mention a couple of things um, uh, this vest does have a three-phase uh, shunt and adjustable current and voltage filters it does also have new imu uh, chip and one very important part is that there is no more set switches in this uh, in this uh, VESC. So we shouldn't be worrying about them failing on us. Well, and that's it guys. Uh, the VESC is back together, nice and neat, no problem at all. I don't recommend you taking it apart. I've only done it for you guys so you can see what's inside. And well, that's it. One, one other thing I forgot to mention guys, this new one, uh, VESC 6 is. Uh, Mark 3 they do have a Function where you can just kick your board and she turns on so she will go to sleep If you're ready to write no need to press any switches or pull any loop keys out You just kick your board She senses that and turns on there's many more features read up on uh, Trampers website if you're interested This is it. So here we go 3D services, gear drives, review is already on my channel, uh, VESC 6 Mark 3, beautiful, maybe Manta Pro deck, maybe something else, something interesting is coming, so I might review that very soon. Next parts like uh, battery build and uh, enclosures we're going to cover in future videos. Hope you liked the video guys, hope it was uh, helpful or useful to you. Definitely would recommend Tramper for the customer service and for the uh, quality of their product. And yes, yeah, stay tuned, ride safely, stay sharp, stay positive, guys. Uh, hard times right now, but we'll pull through. We'll ride together again very, very soon. Bye.